Anyway, I'm just out here in the backyard with the cat. We're looking at the angel trumpet because it's going to unfurl this month. And I'm here cat sitting a while longer. And so uh, I released a video, uh, a compilation of the big question, which it is, are there single male, uh, single men, decent men available online dating? I'm not saying are there decent men all over the world. I'm just saying, are there men on, on online dating apps that are any good? That would actually be somebody that I could spend the rest of my life with and care for and love and add joy to their life and have fun. <laughs> you know, starting off with friendship. Getting to like that person a whole lot. Really laughing a lot. All essential. See if you have the same values. And then, and then and only then do you get physical. But these guys online wanted to cut right straight to it. I was like, lazy fucks. Are you guys all toxic? And yeah, turns out they probably are. But that's not important to me anymore because I am free. <laughs> Yes, you're going to see in the compilation, I've made the decision to completely exit out of that clown show. And it is a clown show. It's an artificial edifice. It's a way of, of having people meet in such an artificial way. And on top of that, there is the big question. Are the reason why these men are single is because they've been tossed back into the sea where there's plenty of fish, that sort of thing. So without going into that or criticizing these online dating sites, no, I never use plenty of fish. I'm not even going to uh, tell you which ones I've used, but they were the major ones, Match, eHarmony, OkCupid, okay and the last one was Bumble. And it's all the same, everything that I experienced anyway. And I thought, okay, it must be the quality of the men. It must be the way I talk, the way I present myself. Ooh. Or it's not me at all. Ha ha. And that was a big aha. Uh -huh. Maybe, just maybe, there are no non-toxic men online. Now, in today's world, I'm not talking about five years ago. <sighs> Actually, they were toxic then too. I first tried it in 2010, um, and it's pretty nuts. But you know something? I've turned that page, I've turned that corner. Y'all have at it. Babe, I'm, I'm 60, so that's a completely different thing now, right? Different priorities, different values. Not making babies, not looking for a partner to raise a family with. This is about somebody who actually understands life as this magnificent gift we have. At the same time, uh, recognizing also that there are, there's healing to be done. Yes, we've had this gift. Yes, 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 I had good times I had roof over my head. Yes, yes, I'm so grateful. I've already gone through all that grateful, grateful thing with regards to what has been given to me, my station in life, by my birth family, by my presence in this point in time. Yes, yes, yes. It, that's all sort of brushing things asunder and aside when you're healing. So I'm healing and I don't care whether or not let bygones be bygones is something you want to say over and over again. I want to heal. And so in healing, I am now at a point where I've left the online dating behind because I know it's just all toxic. And what I'm doing is developing myself. And I get to find out who I am for the very first time without relationship or without a narcissistic parent blabbering on and on and on and on and on about what a horrible person I am who doesn't amount to anything and is this and that and just a whatever. And meanwhile, she was top projecting onto herself because I was uh, exceedingly talented. My entire school is filled with 
pearls of experiences from kindergarten all throughout until I graduated high school in which I had the respect, adoration of my classmates, my peers. My entire peers adored me. I got three things when we graduated. Guess what they were? Most creative, most life-loving, and most athletic. Ha <laughs> ha! What am I still doing? Creative things, right? Most creative. I, I, I do love life, and I, I, but I let my tears show. I, I have my grief. And uh, yeah, and then the last one. Athletic. So working with myself to be able to get back to that. Um, anyone who's been through the, a, a grieving process uh, can also oftentimes experience the onslaught of feelings that you had held back. And then that puts you into inertia. So we're going to talk about the trauma response. We're going to talk about ways to heal. Um, and for all different people. And I address mainly things for women because I don't understand men. However, I do believe men can benefit. But I'm going to reiterate, this is not an announcement that I am single and looking for a man. And I absolutely 100% will not answer your uh, emails if they're of an, a romantic inquiry, but I will read them. I will read them and go, oh, that's nice. And then I'll recognize you on comments on my videos and I'll know who you are. But I will absolutely not dialogue with any uh, overtures of romantic interest. I will take it as a compliment and a compliment only. And I appreciate that because to be able to express yourself without fear is fine. As long as it's coming from the heart. I really like that, from the heart. So that video I did, I'm very proud of it. I put a lot of time into it. it it's um, either gonna come before or after this video. And it's gonna say, you know, the big conundrum, are there any good single men left online? No, is the answer. Um, the, the increase of toxicity is, uh, everywhere including in comment sections and i might do a piece on that i might do a hit piece <laughs> and uh i might you never know this is take adventures okay so then oh we're also i will be going into um just the outline alone of the books that the psychology of um excuse me the principles of psychology written uh earlier but published in 1920 by William um, why does his last name always escape me I talked about him a thousand times <laughs> the principles of psychology Ooh, I know why because his last name was a first name James William James his brother, Henry James, wrote several books, one of which is The Wings of a Dove or something like that. I want to read that one, too. Because these guys were from a wealthy family. So starting from the psychology thing, I, I really want to read this book uh, and pieces and parts. And I found it on Wikipedia link by way that uh, it brought you to text that you could actually read it. And... It is challenging to read because it's an old speak, but it is so presentable and I may do readings from it uh, because it's torturous. It's better to have to do it with somebody else. So that might happen. Oh, and I'm having this. That can, that's what this is. Cheers to that. Presto. Anyway, uh, the video I'm very satisfied by. I have a... I forgot my train of thought because I, I just, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited to be presenting this, this material and to really growing through what we've, I've gone through and what we have gone through as an audience, people who have experienced narcissistic abuse, people who still have narcissistic partners. There are ways of outsmarting them and you can do it without hurting yourself. You just completely look at them as a, a child in an adult body having a temper tantrum 
and they always have temper tantrums. And the only way to deal with a narcissist, um, if you have to live with them and they're not like over the top terrible, which some of us have had and really bad, but the garden variety, just, you know, the garden variety, you know what you do with them? You have to humor them just like they're a toddler and you have to distract them with laughter, games, and if all none of that works because your narc is just off the charts horrific and you fear for your life like I experienced, then you want to do what's called the gray rock method in which you become a gray rock and you don't respond to anything they tell you. Nothing. So I got to clean up this area. I had that fire and I, ha I just tore that apart and I haven't cleaned it up. But, and so I'll be picking up sticks, 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 sticks. We'll be picking up sticks. I'll be getting those over there and these. And then I'll gather all of these. And I'll have everything spick and span because I'm here another whole week. Aren't you guys in for a treat? All right, later. Later, loves. Lots of love to you. Um, this is Ricky the Kitty. He's the indoor-outdoor boy. Mm-hmm. Hi, buddy. <laughs>